Uh, well, good afternoon. Uh, we're going to do a series of videos now to start try and starve off the stave off a bit of the lockdown boredom, and something I've been wanting to do for a while. And we've got more time on our hands now than than ever, so maybe this is a good time to start doing it. Um, right, basically, um, I'm a bit of a TV collector. Uh, and I've got all sorts modern TVs, retro TVs like the ones that this is one of the older ones that I've got. I have got one older than this one, uh, but this is probably about one of the oldest ones I've got. This is a, a Matsui um, 14 inch color portable TV from around 1983 84, I do believe, from doing a bit of investigative work. You can tell by the styling of it as well, obviously. Uh, complete with period loop aerial as well that you see there which very iconic um, so you could actually that's what made these things more portable than ever because you didn't really need a fixed aerial you could albeit sometimes depending on how far away you live from the transmitter depending what sort of picture you was going to get uh, which used to cause a bit of frustration in the 80s 70s and the 80s fiddling around with the aerial trying to get a decent picture um that's one thing we don't have to struggle with nowadays and um well anyway um so yeah i'm going to be doing a series of videos um featuring one of many tellies that i've got we'll be looking at some of the modern ones and some of the retro ones like i say like the one we've got there uh, i've just fetched it from out the loft uh it was covered in dust hence the polish there uh, so i'll just give it a bit of a dusting off this hasn't probably been powered on in 10 years probably more uh, so what we're going to try and do is see if we can get any sign of life. It's been tipped on its side in the loft um, for the last 10 years. It hasn't seen the light of day. So what we thought we'd do is see if we can get any sign of life out of it, see what happens. Probably just, well, if it powers up at all, probably won't get much out of it. Obviously, this being an, anal an analog TV, um, we're going to have to try and concoct some sort of getting an analog signal to it. I, I know how I'm going to do that. But what we're going to actually do first of all is plug it in and just press power and just see if we get anything at all because uh, there's no point trying to rig an aerial up or you know if this if it's the set's completely dead and if it is dead we'll probably even take the back off and, and have a bit of a look and see if there's anything we can do to to get it going so first of all um just love this this analog technology the eight channel push button controls little door there look I can remember when you had to tune all your tune your things in there and your little uh, AFT control which lock once you tuned your channel in you could lock the lock the state of the signal into it and then your basic controls there color contrast brightness volume and power on and off um, and then like I say your channel buttons there this was this is a non-remote control version uh, although obviously by by this period there were remote control ones out so let's have a look, quick look at the back of it uh, oh, I hope nearly tipped it over uh, very basic so you've got your aerial socket there for an outside aerial or you've got the lead for the inbuilt aerial there which you just plug into there if you was using it on the on the loop aerial but that obviously is a standard aerial connection rf aerial connection there which we've got there we've got um we might have to it might be a good idea to take the telly in the room where it's a bit light so you can actually see oh i forgot how heavy these things are Let's see if we can get a bit better better lighting you can actually see uh, so yeah you've got the aerial but um connection there you've got um an earphone socket there I can remember when you used to have the old little white mono ear pieces i think that's a socket possibly for that uh and then completely giving this set sets age away you've got you can't see it oh, you can see it now a bit uh vertical hold and horizontal hold control how period is that <laughs> so obviously um you, you could be able to turn that when the set if the set was rolling uh you could adjust that with that and then you've got actually if not very not very common a horizontal hold uh although i'm not really sure how you were supposed to adjust that because there's no knob on that so whether there's like a screwdriver 
can't actually see how you're supposed to adjust that unless there's something right down in there you could get a very fine screwdriver in there to adjust that um, this one is actually a model 1410 um, and you might be set you might be asking how I originally come um, by this set I actually um, it, I didn't own this from new I actually picked this up from a second hand shop years and years and years ago I think around 2002 um, or 2003 possibly and they were getting rid of it and I thought there's something to have a little play about with and uh, I think I paid about 20 quid for it I can't remember now it's that long ago uh, in fact that there's some reference there to X Reg DR OW20 somebody watching this video might even know what that is or who knows who stuck that on I don't know um, but yeah um, it, this did work fine the last time I used it but I say that's a good good many years ago since this was last powered up so what we're going to do is I say well first of all uh, plug it in and see if there's anything comes from this at all and if it does power up then we'll proceed to try and get a picture out of this thing so here we go just bear me a minute <laughs> 